Something unusual about this temple is it's oriented to the west, which in Hinduism for temples means that it is associated with death. Where do all the faces and heads are gone? I wonder why. Someone's walking with me right now. Are you following me so I can guide you out? They would come here and communicate with the gods in the other side. Very spiritual place. I think there's a lot of history that was lost. All these carvings and everything, these are things I've seen during my enlightenment journey. Are there bodies buried around here? I am. You hear that? Yeah. We're back in Thailand! And wait till you see where we're going tomorrow. You will be amazed. I already know I'm gonna be amazed. So I don't know if I saw a ghost elephant. No! <laughs> I've been wanting you to say it this whole time. She saw the fish in the water and thought it was the monkeys. <laughs> I'm traumatized. <laughs> it's incredible, it really is. Just so you amazing. wanna get a good one? Yeah! I'm there, that's where I am right now. <laughs> Hey cow cats, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Kelsey Davies. We're back in Thailand. I'm so excited to be back here. We have a lot planned, a lot of crazy places that we're going to. Even an ancient temple. I'm really excited about that. We are in Bangkok right now. We're only here for like a night. There's Drew, Drew's Hi. with me too. <laughs> we're only here for a night. I spent a few days in Bangkok the other time I went. I don't know if you guys remember that vlog. We did a bunch of things. We're gonna go back to some of the same spots, but we are gonna go to some different places like Colombia or Cambodia, Columbia. not Colombia. Colombia, <laughs> we're, we're kind of far from Columbia. I know, Cambodia, my bad. And then we're gonna go to Koh Nao Yoy. Oh my gosh, I'm trying to like say all of it. Koh Nao Yoy, Pee Pee Islands, Krabi, and I think that's it. Lots of cool places. Ashley's on her way. Long ass flight. It was like 15 hours or more. It was like a total of 20 hours with the layover and everything. It was a long ass day yesterday, but we're gonna go get some breakfast and come with us to Thailand. Woo! Yeah. We decided to take a little, what did you call it? Tuk -tuk? Yeah, it's a tuk -tuk. <laughs> How do you say taxi? This one down. Tuk tuk. Tuk tuk. I was right. <laughs> <laughs> They dropped us off at the Big Buddha. I don't know where the, I think it's like behind by the river or something, but this is really, really pretty. So cool how spiritual they are here. Like we don't have this where I am and it's just so nice to come and be in just such like spiritual like, places. It's beautiful. These are all ashes and memorials of those who died. There's so much energy over here. I was just drawn to this area. Kind of like a little cemetery, I guess, in a way. Maybe these are all these monks who passed. Looks like there's a name here. I think these are all monks who, you know, dedicated their life and passed away. Wow. It's like all the architecture, just things I've seen on my enlightenment journey and like the things that they have is just like, now I understand where it all, you know, comes from and I just have a different appreciation for all of it now. We're walking to the top of the Buddha. There's Drew down there. Come on, Drew. Wasn't as bad as the Tiger's Temple, but that was like, that was like this much at the Tiger's Temple. Well, yeah, it's like a couple steps compared to it. What's funny with that is that they have tough tobacco in there. There's like flowers all around it. I wonder what that is. Maybe some sort of like offering or something. They do have a lot of offerings. And please don't fall down the stairs. <laughs> that first one's a lot steeper than that. I know, I tripped on it coming up. It's crazy how steep the steps are. 
I wonder if anyone's ever just like fallen walking down this. The thing about it is each step is a different height. So like your brain can't even process how, how long it's gonna, you know, take to go down. <laughs> so each step's like different. <laughs> the monks come up here barefoot or in flip flops. There's some more. There's so many. I mean, it explains why the energy is so powerful with like the temple and all these deceased loved ones. These guys with the tuk-tuks, they'll just, they'll take you places, you know, like it's a lot easier for you to like, just hop on it. <laughs> My tuk-tuk takes me anywhere. <laughs> but um, if you go to Thailand, just take one of them. They're really nice. All, like every time I've had someone, they've been really, really nice. And they take you to cool places that are like touristy, but that's kind of what you want when you visit. And we told them we're hungry, so we took us to this cool restaurant. I'm excited, they had a huge menu. I got um, rice and gravy, it sounded really good. I guess it's like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. Look at what you got. It's a, what was it? Strawberry mango sunrise? Spring. Oh, spring. It's delicious. It looks really good. You got a Coke. We're waiting for Ashley and when we were riding on the bikes, guys, I looked at our dude's name and his name is Mr. Udon. I was, <laughs> I was so excited because I'm like the queen of Udon noodles, just all noodles. I love noodles. My family nicknamed me Kelser Noodles. Of course, we get the taxi tuk-tuk driver named Mr. Udon. Mr. Udon? I like him. He's waiting for us outside. Um, Ashley's gonna come up. She's gonna rinse off because she's been on a flight for like forever and she's just like I want to get rinsed off and then we can go on the boats and stuff but he's outside waiting he's super nice we love Mr. Udon Charlie Udon I wonder his name. If, is his name Charlie Udon yeah oh my god he's an icon we love him we stand <laughs> we stand Charlie Udon we'll return after these messages we're in Thailand we're in Thai la 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 la. We're gonna go on the tuk tuk and we're gonna go ride the little boats. Thailand, Thailand, we are in Thailand. La 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 la. <laughs> Your turn. We are in Thailand. <laughs> we are gonna go on the tuk tuk. <laughs> so it's to say like a greeting is like swadika you say that <laughs> what did you just say <laughs> sweaty cock sweaty cock <laughs> no <laughs> i've been wanting to say it this whole time no don't say that let's see if drew learned kapunka 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 wait do it again kapunka no <laughs> kapung kapunka <laughs> We're gonna work on that. Okay, how about Hung Nam? Hung Nam. There, you got bathroom, Hung Nam. Of course I got bathroom. <laughs> We're learning, yeah. that's like, those are the three oh, words wow. I know. <laughs> it's been getting us around though, okay? Tuk Tuk. <laughs> tuk Tuk, yeah, no, I know four now. I knew Tuk Tuk before we got here. I know, I was impressed. All right, we're bringing Ashley on the pole. I made it! it! She made it last time. She didn't make it to Thailand. I'm a year late. I know. Right? You're here. We made it. We're on the little boat. It kind of like takes us around the canals and stuff. It's really cool. So had to take Ashley on it. Yay!
on the boat and the guy was like, look at the floating market, because that's what we're about to walk on. Ashley thought that he said floating monkeys. <laughs> Ashley My anxiety at an all time high right she now. Had, like, started freaking out about the floating monkeys. <laughs> well, and then like, they will jump on the boat. Just the Be monkeys? Prepared. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> they're not going to get you. They are pretty mean. Yeah, the monkeys definitely steal things. She saw the fish in the water and thought it was the monkeys. <laughs> I'm traumatized. <laughs> oh, I made a little kitty friend. They always find me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, if you thought the other Buddha was big, now <laughs> that's big Buddha. <laughs> I feel so tiny. That's the giantest Buddha I've ever seen. I just want to acknowledge the Starbucks here is so different than like America. Okay, look it. So in America, when you get this moz mozzarella, when you get the pesto thing, it's like microwaved kind of, you know, it's like frozen, but this is so fresh. It's so freaking good. And then they had a banana muffin with chocolate chips in it. It was so, so good. And then you said the McDonald's is better too, right? Mm -hmm. It's a lot better. So you tried- It just seems like not as many preservatives are in it. It just seems like they actually make real food. Like instead of microwaving it. Mm -hmm. I feel like they just microwave shit where we are. Like it's so bad. It was way cheaper too than usual. Like America, you suck with our food. Why, do, why can't we get this? stuff. <laughs> Update, we're on our way to Cambodia. I got the road to myself. Drew got the road to myself. Woo! This one is very empty. Where is everyone? <laughs> Guys, we just got to our hotel in Cambodia. They gave us scarves. Oh, oh no. <laughs> it was so cute. We were all lined up and they just like scarfed each and every one of us. But look at the freaking room. It's so crazy. And it's, I think for two nights, it's like $130 for this. But look at it. Wow. Look at the freaking the flowers. It's so magical. Oh my gosh, I gotta show you outside. Got us a little balcony. You can hear the music popping off. There's all these bars down there. Too bad I'm not much of a partier and I don't really drink because I'm allergic to alcohol, but still like the vibe, you know? But look at it. It's so pretty, the pool. Drew's taking a poop, so I'm gonna wait until he's done to show you the bathroom. It, it's gonna blow your mind. The bathroom's gonna blow your mind, because this always blow my mind. They got little tiny baby bananas. They got little tiny tiny bananas. Even all the architecture, like I just cannot get over it. It's so cool. And wait till you see where we're going tomorrow. You will be amazed. I already know I'm gonna be amazed. I just don't know how amazed I'm gonna be yet, but I know it's gonna be just like so, so beautiful. All right, Drew's done taking his poop, his poop. So now I get to show you the bathroom. Look at that. The freaking bathtub. There's literally rocks. We have literal rocks. Floor. It's not just a bowl. Oh my gosh, it's a rainfall or a waterfall shower. Ah, that's so cool. Look at our little towels. We're gonna get, wait, what did you just say? <laughs> it's processed. <laughs> you just spit. I used the hose and the, the shower, not the shower, but the toilet to wash out my booty hole. Oh, did you? They have like hoses next to the It's like a toilet. bidet. Yeah, but it's like more aggressive. I never use it because it's just like a lot. It's really intense for me. <laughs> I just wash my booty hole. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You want to demonstrate? No, I do not. <laughs> We're going to take a shower and go to bed and squirt our booty holes apparently, but I will catch up with you guys in the morning. It is the next morning. We're about to head over to the temple. I want to show you guys how beautiful the hotel is. Look at it. 
Look at this. It's so cute. My camera's getting all foggy. It's like, yeah. You can see how humid it is. Maybe because you had the elevator shut Drew's in my face. Drew's being mean to me. Because I had the elevator yeah. shut in my face. Really, Drew? Like, Close. Really? <laughs> It'll be like a nine-year-old driving it with a toddler in the front and a toddler in the back. It's like all children on these little bikes. So this temple is so cool. I actually played this temple in Tomb Raider. If you guys have ever played that game, we're ready. I'm ready. Hello, this <laughs> We're famous, guys. <laughs> that was crazy. We got bombarded. <laughs> I felt like a princess. <laughs> one of them got my dad. One of them offered him a free beer if he got a shirt. So that got him. <laughs> so I think he's somewhere getting a beer. <laughs> a few moments later. Oh I got, got my you. beer. <laughs> I got a free beer and a shirt for five bucks. Nice. <laughs> the free beer got, got him. Yeah. <laughs> So something unusual about this temple is it's oriented to the west, which in Hinduism for temples means that it is associated with death. They would come here and they would communicate with the gods in the other side. Very spiritual place. These ruins are from like the 1100s. Look how beautiful. Wow. That's crazy. Look how freaking crazy. This is just a little tiny piece of it. You literally just copied what I said. Huh? You literally just copied me. So this one has a huge tree in the middle and all the roots go around it. I saw a picture. Drew! I go, I said this is just a tiny piece of the temple and then Drew lifts his camera up and goes, this is just a tiny piece of the temple. <laughs> Intricate architecture. All the little designs and patterns. Wow. Oh, here, this is the tree with all the roots. Wow, it's so cool the tree like literally grew into the building. My dad was saying how when you touch the roots of the tree, you feel all the energy. Trees are alive. Almost like it's pulling energy out of me. You feel that? Yeah. This just said I lost my life here. I bet a lot of people, you know, died around here too. It's like the center of the place, you know, like the heart. It's like the life it's here. Incredible. Wow. Oh, there's no head on that guy. Wow. I wonder where their heads went. Both of their heads are gone. Well, palatus. I'm gonna have to look up what that means. This is so cool. To get everybody to commit to stenciling all this stuff because it wasn't slavery. I think that everyone back then was spiritually awoken and they were all very connected with that realm because when you. Exterior. Whoa, what? That's a weird word. <coughs> During my enlightenment, that's kind of what I got is that humanity went to sleep at one point and there was something that happened. I don't know. I think there's a lot of history that was lost as well, but all of the carving. Glacialist. What? I don't even know what language this is. I've never heard these words. That's crazy. But um, all these carvings and everything, these are things I've seen during my enlightenment journey and during a lot of very intense spiritual visions, dreams, um, you know, things I've experienced during my psilocybin trips and just things like you see. I think they all saw it collectively and they were able to carve it and all carve the same. I don't know. I have this weird theory. Now it just said Iugulum. I've never seen this thing say these words like this is different language weird I'm gonna have to look all this up because I have no idea there's so many butterflies too I keep seeing bed look how small these doors were like they were a lot smaller back then <laughs> it's really hot look at the back of my backpack Ew. mine's probably the same oh wow the wall, it really is. Just you amazing. want to get a good photo of it the whole trip? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. There's some writing here. Wrong thing. It's like I found a secret passageway. Wow. Ah, I got stuck. 
Can any spirits tell me how old this temple is? It's just crazy how they built all this. Oh, look at a monarch. That's my butterfly. Hello. Oh my gosh. That's literally my spirit guides always send me monarchs. And it's so crazy. We've been seeing so many angel numbers. The guy at the hotel was like, oh, call 111 if you guys need anything. And we've gotten room number 307 both times. And then Ashley's been seeing all these numbers. I mean, it's just so, so crazy. And then the monarch. Oh my gosh. Ugh, it's magic. We know all the faces and heads are gone. It's just kind of bizarre. Like it's just the faces and the heads. I wonder why. Right after I mentioned the faces, it goes mourn. I decided to pull out the spirit box app by all these bats in the area where it said mourn. So ah, the link to the spirit box app I use is down below in the description. Just be safe while you're using it. Are there any spirits here who want to come through? Who's here with us? Not here. I heard that. Whoa. What happened here? Why are all of the heads of the statues gone? I blood here. There's another statue there with the head on. Why was this temple built? I keep seeing like shadows, but I can't figure out what they are. Is that residual energy? Who is there? My name is Kelsey. Did bad things happen here? Why do they say this temple is associated with death? There is like a sad feeling to this place. Did people come here to mourn their lost loved ones? Wow. That is a beautiful tree. Do the gods still protect this place? Yeah, that's my boyfriend. Is it okay if he takes pictures of this beautiful temple? Yes. Drew, you got permission from the spirits. Make a noise and let us know that you're here. Buried? Buried, I heard that. Are there bodies buried around here? I am. You hear that? Yeah. There's like a hole up in the ceiling. Are there any pathways for a spirit? There are a lot of things about being killed, massacre buried apparently this temple also inspired temple run which i used to play all the time this looks like it It's like fashionable. I wonder why it has all of this on it. It has like lipstick and makeup. Look, K hey, Queen Slay. This is a depiction of war. Look at they're all going into battle on the elephants too. It's a oh the civil war. 
And they're kicking these people. And then it kind of fades away, but it keeps going. It's a whole story of the war. And then they're kind of putting their knives down, it looks like, or something. And then there's another one without its head. Guys, I'm really into this conspiracy of why they don't freaking have heads. I'm here to figure it out. Got my detective skills going. There's just like so many temples. I don't even think this is the main one. This one's kind of creepy. It's just like really dark. I don't know that holes in the ceilings too. Maybe that's how they had light. So there's this, which is like a god, I think, or something. And then look at their heads are gone. But then these ones all have their heads. Oh, this one doesn't have a face though. I guess that one looks more deteriorated, but the other ones look like they were purposely removed. Let me know what you guys think of that and why maybe there's like history online or something. If you guys know why their heads are all gone, because that's kind of weird. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little lost. <laughs> I kind of wandered off as I do and I can't find anyone. I can't answer their phones because there's no service. Maybe they went up this way. It's pretty easy to get lost in this temple. Like, where am I? And there's wild monkeys. There's people, I found people at least. I was by myself for a hot minute there. I found them. So the reason why they have these guardians in front of the temples that are kind of like lion looking is because in Hinduism, they are to protect from bad spirits. He was also explaining this bridge that they have. It's under construction right now, but it's called the Rainbow Bridge. And it's said to be a passageway for spirit to go to God, basically. It's just crazy, like thousands of years ago when like there were the Egyptians and they would build the pyramids and there's temples all around the world that are so spiritual they were so connected and the world's having a mass awakening again so they man built this moat all around to protect from invaders <laughs> It's hard to get Noki's bag. Look, I made a little kitten friend. They always find me. Look at Oh my goodness. He says, please pet me. Guys, I don't know if you can see them, but there's all these dragonflies When you look from here to that side, over. you can see some part in front of this with the uh. high <laughs> over here. So the king would come here and speak right there. Okay. So he would speak right there. Oh, gotcha. And then everybody would fill this whole place right here and listen to the king talk right there. Got you. And then this was just for spiritual, like... Yeah, it was a Hindu temple. Yeah. And then, um, transitioned into a Buddhist temple. Got point. you. But we get to see the Tomb Raider pools. Yeah. One arrow through the demon head, one head of new head come. Through to the arm, one arm of new arm come, does not die. How can the Rama kill him? in my Tomb Raider dream, guys. We're going down into the pool. <laughs> Feel just like Laura Croft. I just need bigger, bigger tits. Ah! I'm scared. It was right when we got in the pool. <laughs> right when I said I needed bigger tits. Oh my God, it's raining. It's raining. Oh my god, they're like, get out of the pool. Guys, we gotta get out. We got another weird word. This is a royal staircase. In the past, when the king wanted to go up to the top, he always used to go up with the staircase. We can see you all. 
the original the original one is really steep and really narrow, really dangerous. How <laughs> and uh, over there. Yeah. One more thing when you go out. Wait, it just said I'm so confused. <laughs> Me too. Oh yeah. I'm, I'm confused. Maybe they're just like a lost soul. They're just kind of confused as to life or what's happening. I don't know. I kind of want to talk to some what do you spirits. Say? They used to be Hindu and yeah. now they're all Buddhist. So maybe it's like a spirit coming oh. back from a different Yeah, background. and they're like confused. Yeah. Like they got lost or something. Yeah, like what? Oh my gosh. Look at that rain. I just saw someone. Who was that that I just saw? I'm starting to get a headache like sitting right here. You're scared? What are you scared of? There's someone who needs help. Do you need help crossing over? Did you come to this temple trying to cross over into the heavens? That's what this temple was built for. It was like heaven, yes. And it got changed and people had destroyed a lot of the statues. There was a lot of rivalry with religion. Forgive. Can you forgive? all the rivalry and the things that happened here. Whoa, I just heard someone behind me. Someone's walking with me right now. This side. Are you following me so I can guide you out? Can you go towards the light? Can you forgive? Forgive what happened to this temple? I think that can help you move forward. Can you walk with me and cross over into the other side? Someone's walking with me right now. I see them. Are you sad about this and what happened? Does this make you sad? Yes. Yeah, it feels like they're like not able to go out. I don't know how to explain it. You have that power within you to leave and you can ask God for help. You can ask angels for help to guide you into the light. Just because there's been the statues that are destroyed doesn't mean that the religion is gone. I can see how a spirit would be lost if they came back to here, which was said to be heaven, and they see all the Buddhist statues destroyed with no heads. It's like, it would be confusing, you know? So hopefully me informing them. I hope it helped them, is what I'm trying to say. Cause I mean, imagine coming back, someone you prayed to and it's all destroyed. Look it, it's pretty sad. We hiked up to the top in the rain. I'm posing for pictures oh. in the back. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the pool's kind of a pool now. There's like, Jeremy, you gotta jump in the little splash right there, ready? Like, oh. <laughs> That's not what I, I know, I thought it was gonna be like two feet, you know, but that worked too. <laughs> it was very graceful. It's been a day, we took a flight to Krabi, so I was actually here in my last vlog and this is so weird. The universe has been interesting, there's been a lot of angel numbers, a lot of synchronicities, this is one of them. I booked a room with an ocean view, you know, and I didn't tell them a room number, like this is weird. I got the same exact room that I had last time. I'm not even kidding. It's the same exact room. How weird is that? What? Look at the moon next to a 
so beautiful. He's getting some beautiful shots on his drone, so make sure you guys go check out his video on his channel. tell you guys how grateful I am to have that experience again with the elephants. Oh my gosh, the you can see the humidity fogging up the camera. It's so hot. Last night we had kind of a weird thing happen. It kind of freaked me out, I'm not gonna lie. Remember the tapping where it was like, on the thing. I was like half awake. So I thought there was something in here. It was really weird. Then we heard two taps over there. So I said, go away, you know, and I drew, you even said it too. You well, you asked away. because he started freaking out. Well, because I didn't know what it was. It kind of made me nervous. It was just like something that wanted our attention and I was about to fall asleep and I was like, I don't want this right now. So that was really weird. And then when we were at the elephant sanctuary, I had a weird, I don't know what this was. I saw an elephant and like, you know, I acknowledged it. I was like, oh, an elephant. And then I go back and the elephant was gone. There were no elephants around where I saw it. So I don't know if I saw a ghost elephant. That was weird. So I had to share that with you guys. The guy told us about elephants today and that they live for like 80 to 100 years and they have one child at a time. And I thought that they had multiple kind of like dogs do and stuff, but they only have one baby at a time and like they're very very intelligent super smart months. they're pregnant for 27 months 22 22 months it's not far-fetched that there would be an elephant spirit you know lingering here too just like a human spirit so that was kind of cool we're gonna go take the boat today to Pee, Pee Island that'll be kind of our area where we can rest and actually take a break because whenever we go and travel we're not vacationing we're working the whole time Drew's doing his photography his drone footage he's so making sorry. content I know I'm making content we're constantly working so it's these aren't like vacations we get to have. I had a comment. They were like, oh, you get to vacation all the time. I'm like, no, it's, it's not, not vacation. It's not relaxing. It's very fucking stressful. It's go, 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 go. And we're making content. I'm editing and I'm trying to post things. And like, it's a lot of work. So that's what we're doing. I hope you guys are enjoying this vlog so far. So let's go to Pee, Pee Island. hotel as I did last time and it's just as beautiful ah! when we walked up there was this cat from last time comes up to me starts meowing and rubbing on me it remembered me from last time it was with a black cat with like the short little tail oh that was magical and there's like kittens oh, oh my gosh I gotta show you guys but we're gonna go down to the beach and get some dinner are you ready for dinner sir sir are you ready for dinner I guess so. It's okay. It's okay. Is that your baby? Are you a mama? Hi, little baby friend. Oh, Something look at about the balcony here. Hi. Hi. This one's like a baby baby. Ah! <laughs> All right. <laughs> You're recording. Update, y'all. Um, I haven't been smoking lots of Mary J for a while. <laughs> so, you gonna order a milkshake or 
I am there. That's where I am right now. <laughs> Anyone gonna order a milkshake or anything? Stop making me laugh, you're making me laugh. <laughs> Why? Laughter is a joy in life. Laughter is... It's like birds singing in a tree. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, it's legal here. I don't know if I said that, but it just got legalized like a little bit almost a year ago or something like that. <laughs> I just had to update. It could be over now. <laughs> You can press the button now. Thank you. <laughs> I just like how awkward you're getting. I know. <laughs> meowing outside of our door and Drew opens the door and it's <laughs> it's you guys look another one showed up and another one <laughs> Hi. <laughs> All right, now we're in Konao Yoi. We're going to Cape Kadu. Once we get there, they rent bikes right there for like six dollars a day. Okay, we can, not, not now. We can all jump on. Uh, to go on a bike. After last time, I'm a little nervous to get on a bike. When you see the roads when we drive through town, you won't feel nervous. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so yeah. They cut, you can see the stitches start here and they end back here. They open it up and they attach the collarbone back to the bone, kind of, I don't know. Oh. I don't think they did a, a great job, but. Yeah, we gotta be careful. La-di-da! Dum-dum-dum, la-da-di-da, la-di-da-di-dum-dum-dum-dum. And these are their Thai lace. They're not lays, they're just lay. Lay. So there's not only this this little piece, there's them that all over. Okay. <laughs> okay, wait, hold on. Let me try to get like the girth size. It's pretty big, it's pretty large. They have them all over. And we asked the guy and he said that they are like 200 years ago, they were perceived as lucky to like put. So they're good luck, so they call pe Beluckies. Belucky. <laughs> if you have a penis, you're belucky. <laughs> Congratulations. What a wonderful way to finish up the vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm a little bit behind on editing, as you can tell. Traveled a lot. So much content coming for you, but don't forget to check out my new music video and song for September 10th. And I want to thank you for the love and support on it. It really, really means the whole world to me. Life's been crazy. I feel a little down right now. I'm having some health issues, unfortunately. But I'm still pushing through the best that I can. I'm hanging in there, guys. Hanging in there. <laughs> Also, don't forget we have these hoodies that are available. If you guys go and get a hoodie and post it on your Instagram story, tag me. I'm gonna feature some of you in a YouTube video when they're all shipped out, so make sure you go check out the hoodie. Let me know if you guys get one. Like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so that you guys know when I post, and I will see you in my next video.